Well, I'm gonna put on my sunglasses to look a little bit more cool. <laughs> no, no one wants to be known as the wicked one. Everyone wants to be known as a good person. And uh, nobody wants to be the villain in the story. Everybody wants to be the good guy. You know how many of you, seeing, by seeing the title, um, you can wonder if we actually can learn, we can take some lessons on how to be a nice person or on how to be a cool person. Well, I think that the minority of people are naturally kind or naturally nice, but the majority of people have to take some extra lessons to on how to be nice and or kind or cool. Tip number one on the being nice lesson is dying to self. I know that uh, there is this concept of self-love and I definitely do not agree with 100% of what pertains to uh, the self-love movement or concept. I believe that it's impossible to love another person if you can't um, love yourself but I also do not believe in that concept of pu always putting yourself first. I think it's very detrimental because we are naturally selfish being well i may agree with maybe 10 percent of the self-love movement or self-love uh, preachings or concept i love the person that god has created me i love the body that god has given me i love every single thing that God has given me. I love my nose, I love my skin color, I love my hair texture, I love every single thing that God has given me. I think uh, the self-love movement has created a lot of um, anxiety and depression into our generation where I believe that we are naturally selfish people. We already love ourselves enough. And increasing these teachings on loving ourselves boosting ourselves i think it's very detrimental it's very detrimental for ourselves and uh, this generation people are so depressive i think it's because we do not leave enough room for others we do not leave enough room for others mistakes so dying to self denying ourselves is in other words putting ourselves second and putting others first we are no longer very understanding toward others because we're like i put myself first i don't have time for you this is not how we should this is why we are very depressive so if you want to be a nice person if you want to be a cool person putting yourself second it's not losing it's actually winning because you are creating joy for yourself because we are naturally selfish people dying to self isn't something that happens instantly it is something that requires a long time it's a lifelong process so you can't just watch this video and say hey i'm dying to myself and also you know you have to know why you are dying to yourself it's because of my christian faith i know the reward that is awaiting uh, me in the future when i pass out and i also know even in the present life that um if i die to myself it i'm gonna have my inner peace i'm gonna have my inner joy which is not temporary but is permanent decision it's every single day that you have to take the decision to deny yourself to I'm not saying by dying yourself to yourself. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy yourself a dress. You should you should just don't think of yourself as more important, more knowledgeable than others, more intelligent, more beautiful. You are consumed with yourself. You should leave room for other people. Number two on the on the being nice lesson is noticing small details about others and this can only be the result of dying to self there is no way you can notice the beautiful and wonderful things about others without dying to self because if you are full of yourself consumed with, your, with yourself you do not notice other people other qualities in people 
uh, some of the greatest relationships that I have in my life. I'm not here to, you know, to vent myself and say that I'm the coolest person and I'm the nicest person that ever that has ever existed. I am not. I am learning. It's a journey. Uh, but what I can say is that some of the greatest relationships that I have in my life, the great friendships that I have in my life, la long lasting relationships are a fruit of the small things that between friends, it's always nice to kind of appreciate what others have. Maybe you can say if your friend is, you can compliment them on, this is another point, um, complimenting others. It is, there are hidden talent, for example, uh, maybe they they don't know that they have this talent or this gift and by just paying attention to others, you can notice that, hey, you have this talent and complimenting them on, on that, this will boost them to maybe go to new height or try, try out their talent and see where it takes them. And by doing that, you just appear more, you appear like a, an exceptional person third tip is complimenting complimenting is a great way to nurture relationships um, nobody wants to be in a relationship where by relationship i mean any kind of relationship they don't receive compliments um, i'm looking very beautiful i'm dressed uh, in a proper way and nobody says anything i we as human beings we want compliments we want to be we want to receive compliments for from people and especially from the people that uh, we we love and complimenting them complimenting your friend on who they are instead of what they have and what they do for you i'm not saying you should um, compliment them or you should not uh, appreciate whatever they do for you but complimenting them on their personality is has more value than complimenting them um, on material things. And a person who compliments others, I know it's very difficult to give compliments to others because we think that they will think that they are better than ourselves. But I, I just think that complimenting others even chases away um, jealousy. Uh, when you see a person who is uh, another woman who is dressed top notch and very very nice uh, or a woman who speaks very well i think it requires humility to tell the person that they look nice or they speak nice or they are beautiful but it humbles us and it takes away the jealousy that we always we everybody is fighting against jealousy so complimenting others appreciating others out loud chases away jealousy tip number four on the being nice lesson is to be intentional what does intentionality means it means um making making deliberate choices or living or um, existing with intent intent means making our attention, putting our attention, our focus into something. And by being intentional, by being intentional, we have more clarity about things. And by being more present, we are more focused, we are more joyful, we are more content. So there are lots of benefits of being an intentional person. And intentionality is not a flow it's a high quality especially regarding relationships and you may ask how can i be intentional number one thing is to put your phone away and just being present whenever you have a conversation with someone you will get a coffee with someone and in today's world we are very very busy busy making money busy making this 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 busy with our project busy with our schedules but we should remember that there is death just as we had a beginning on this earth we will also have an end but how do we want to spend the time here do we want to spend our time 
uh, just accomplishing things and things and things and not build um, relationships in which we enjoy others. Number five on the being nice lesson is to be grateful and appreciative. Whenever somebody um, serves you, we should always practice grateful for the smallest and the greatest things. We tend to forget the good that others have done unto us and we only remember their the bad things that they have done to to us we only remember people in their worst time or or we only remember the wrongdoings uh, from others we never remember that this person has maybe given me their time or they've given me the best of counsels they have given me even the smallest smallest thing to not to never forget but to be grateful and appreciate that and by appreciating not appreciate them only in your heart but telling them that you appreciate what they have done to you it's a beautiful trait that we should strive to cultivate being appreciative and it's not only beneficial to others but it's also beneficial to ourselves a grateful person is always a joyful person there's a calmness and a tenderness of heart that comes with being grateful and there's a good contentment in being grateful and in appreciating others out loud it's just it values other people um so yeah we should really strive to cultivate that number six is to have no expectations from others if you uh, serve others and you only expect something from them then you will be deceived because this is just how we roll as human beings we do never return the good that has been done unto us so for your peace of mind I would just suggest that you do not expect anything you just do good and um, the Lord above will reward you so this is the end of this video I hope you will not only be a listener but you will be a doer of all these things I know it's always fun when you learn some tips on how you can improve yourself and you're like pumped and say I'm gonna change I'm gonna be a new person and uh, just a day later you forget everything that you have learned from this video i just pray and hope that you're not that kind of person i hope this video helped you i hope that um you do not try to be a nice person in order to gain attention or to gain love and appreciation from others but you strive to be a genuine nice person and uh, be um and be a good citizen on this earth and be a helpful intentional polite respectful um grateful and appreciative so i hope you like this video see you in the next one bye